a lot of people who although they are living in a very multicultural diverse place like dubai they still fail to have uh, social relationships with people from different faiths uh, they find it really difficult to speak normally with uh, non muslim brothers and sisters they may work with them they may live around with them but they fail to have us any social relation with them i don't know what fear is there is there any social uh, problem with this or is there any ruling in islam from refraining from something like this i don't know about a ruling uh i could tell you though that uh this is normal people like to stick to others that are like themselves right that's a the common sociological phenomenon i spent most of my adult life in new york city and new york city is literally many small countries inside a city there's chinatown there's you know jackson heights which is entirely punjabi there's an area that's entirely greek there's a story that's entirely arab you know you go to parts of brooklyn they only speak hebrew you go to other parts of brooklyn they only speak urdu you know it's crazy it's it's very fragmented you know so naturally people like to go closer and interact with and be friends with people like that are most similar to themselves that's there but the muslims have to be above this natural societal tendency it's not a haram tendency it's a natural tendency we like to be in our own comfort zone and people who you share a language with who you share a religion with who you share habits and customs with obviously you're more comfortable around them but we as da'is we have to come out of our comfort zone and we have to be able to reach out and if they're not reaching out to us we should be reaching out to them and if for example you're going to lunch right you work with somebody who's a buddhist or something and you're going to lunch hey you want to come with me let's go to lunch just just be friend you don't have to give him dawa right now let's just be friends with him just you know cuz a lot of times these people they feel like muslims don't even think of them as human beings they don't even talk to us normally and that's that's wrong and the only time we talk to them is we want to preach to them no 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 rasul sai sanam built a real relationship with his people it's even an evidence in the quran inna kana ala khuluqin azim the entire early sira pre 40 years of the rasul sai sanam these relationships that gave him the credibility right so those of us that are now inshallah after hearing this message of become more conscious you have to go out of your way don't say why do people not do this how come people aren't this way no 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 forget about people how come i am not this way you know there's a lot of people here there's thousands of people here if each one of you made a change there's a real change in dubai isn't it it's a serious change so just it's i mean think about that so just reach out and be not saying go join them in the temple and sit with them you know like that's not what i'm saying but at least you know break the ice break the ice and and be able to have you know a good relations with our non muslim friends and neighbors sheikh would you like to ask something probably probably um see interacting has two ways something on the surface and something that is internal so on the surface we coexist we speak and we're kind and we're honest and we don't cheat with everyone regardless of their faith this is a rule of thumb in islam it's a religion of balance it's a religion of pride without arrogance a religion of strength without violence it's a religion of compassion and mercy without weakness so when i deal with a non muslim i follow my role model the prophet ali sallallahu alaihi wasallam i take every step possible to call him to islam through my actions through my sincerity through my truthfulness through everything that islam tells me to do the prophet ali sallallahu alaihi wasallam had a jew servant who got sick the prophet himself the head of the state went to visit him in his house and his father was there and he said to the jew embrace islam he visited him but he gave him da'wah it was not just hanging out we don't have non muslims that we hang out with and we treat them and love them more than the muslims know we have to call a spade a spade but we don't treat them in a harsh fashion we're not violent to them we give them everything in our possibility and ability to call them to islam through our conduct allah azza wa jalla says waman ahsanu qawlan mimman da'a ila allah there is no one better in rhetoric more than he who calls to allah wa amila salihan does good deeds 
وَقَالَ إِنَّنِي مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ and proclaims that he is among the Muslims. Do this and everyone you know would, if not accept Islam, would be amazed and impressed by it. And Allah knows best.